Hi, my Oompa Loompas. Today I'm going to teach you how to count. <laughs> you know, you were taught, you know, you were taught, uh, you know, how to count like one, two, three, four, five. Today we're going to extend this idea of counting to even more advanced techniques of counting. And one of them is called the fundamental counting principle. Another name for it is called uh, multiplicative counting principle and what it really means in a nutshell there is the definition but it's too technical what it means this is how you think of it I have let's say I have m ways to do one thing and I have n ways to do another thing to do the second thing right so if I want to so then there then there are m times n ways to do both things so this let me let me repeat that again right there are m ways to do the first thing there are n ways to do the second thing. So the number of ways to do both things at the same time is m times n. Now, I could do more than two things. I could do three things, four things. So, for example, if I do three things, uh, you, can get, uh, you can say like m, you know, m ways to do the first thing, n ways to do the second thing, and r, r, r ways to do the third thing. So if you want to do all three things at the same time, the number of ways to do all the number of ways to do all three uh, three things at the same time is m times n times r you see you get the pattern and you could do this for four things you could do this for five things you could do this for 16 the same idea you multiply the number of ways for each of the things and in order to get the number of ways to do all the things okay that's the idea okay and that's all this fancy definition means in a nutshell okay now let's give you an example of how to do this so let's look at an example. So let's go. It's an example to illustrate this concept. Example one. Let me read it for you. Martin lives in Kingston and is planning a trip to Vienna, Austria. He finds that he can take a plane, bus, or train from Kingston to Toronto. Then he could take one of the three flights from Toronto to London. And finally, he can take one of two flights from London to Vienna. How many different ways can Martin travel to Vienna? So let's look at, well, what we know is, let's use, what we know is that there are, if you could, from Kingston to, let's look at it here. Um, from Kingston to Toronto, Let's look at here. Okay. There are three ways he get from Kingston to Toronto, right? Either bus, either plane, bus, or train. So there are three ways. So let's use, there are three ways for him to get, to take a, a plane, bus. There's three ways for him to get from Kingston to Toronto. Plane, bus, or train. Good. Now, what's, let's look at the other way. Now, let's look at the other one. Let's highlight this with green. Then you could take one of three flights from, from, from Toronto to London, right? So there's three, way, three flights that you get from London to Toronto. So let's look at it. So there's three ways, right? So let's multiply it by three, okay? Sorry. Okay, and then you can take, finally you can take one of two flights from, from London to Vienna, okay? So there's two flights. And now we wanna know how many different ways can Martin travel to Vienna? Well, all you have to do is to answer that question is you multiply the, th the three, you multiply these guys together. So if you take three times three times two, this is going to be 18. This right here, 18, is the number of ways that Martin can, can travel to Vienna. Okay. So that's. I hope you like this video. If you have, if you want to, um, if you have, if you, I want to receive your feedback on how to uh, to make this video better. You can write on the comment below. Um, if you think this video will help other people, please share this video with others that might benefit from this video. And and. Um, if please hit the like button, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel a lot. Uh, 
and and yeah and hit the notification bell so that you're notified for more of my videos i hope you have a wonderful day bye for now